So, can I give you an instruction real quick? And then I'll listen to you think, because it's probably exactly what you can put here. So when, now that you've talked for a little bit, you're gonna list three of the crayfish structures, describe each one's function. So you see the blue paper, Tatiana and Sam? You can use those sentences to help you write complete sentences, okay? So what were you thinking? I was thinking that since there is this thing, I think that's where the key is. So we're not sure what that, that's, that's actually called the egg pour. So you could write, look, you can use that. One structure is the egg pour. Its function is to lay eggs, right? Does it make sense, Sam? I'll come back and check on you, okay? But you can work together, okay? Oh, we could say that, or the pincers. The And you could do that one, so write that down. Do you hear that? The function of the pincers is to grab stuff, okay? What I am going to do while we're waiting is I, for those of you that are finished, I thought what we could do is just write, now that we've spent a lot, write some questions, what I'm trying to say. Ask some questions. And Natalie, can you go collect the crayfish now? So I just want you to think about excuse me, what you are wondering about the crayfish now. What do you want to know about the crayfish? What do you want to know? Okay, I think what we're going to do is hand your papers to your table, Captain. And as soon as you've done that, please join me on the carpet facing the glad way. So, I just wanted, this is the very beginning, and I wanted to capture some of our questions. I've been hearing so many questions. What do we want to know about the crayfish? What are we wondering about? Brittany? What do they eat? What do they eat? Okay. Christian M? How long does it take for a claw? To grow back. Because we're missing one, right? Mm -hmm. Marisol? How long, how long can they live? So we're thinking of the lifespan, huh? Mm -hmm. Angelo? How long can they be out of water? Mm. Can they be out of water? Mm -hmm. Interesting things. I see several that we're going to talk about later. Jasmine? Um, how long does it take for the eggs to hatch? How long does it take for their eggs? To hatch. Okay. Just wanted to capture some questions. In, hold on. in your notebooks, after we do the next part, you're going to get a chance to write in your science notebook about your questions. Okay? Brandon and Natalie, can you join us quickly? We're going to need your thinking here. All right. So let's go back and think about our two focus questions. I'm going to give you some think time first. What are the structures of a crayfish? Can you go and talk, share with the partner? Right, Ulysses, what's the structure? An egg pour. An egg pour. Natalie? Pace? The carapace. We know the scientific word now, huh? Mateen? Pincer. Right? So let me show you how we would 
write this, okay? How about real quick? Marie, Brianna, Alina, and Angelo. Quick. Uh, um, um, the legs. The shell. The shell. Oh. Abdomen. 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 So, as you know, when we're answering a question, we can use the words from the question to help us. So we might say, cray, uh, write, crayfish have... Many, excuse me, thank you for editing for me. Crayfish have many structures. Now, we're just going to list a few. So we could say such as the egg pour. comma, leg joints. and pincers. Okay? Just give it three examples is pretty good for us to remember what a structure is, right? All right, the next question, give you a little bit of think time. What are the functions of each structure? Function being what it does. Go ahead. You can start, Sam. What's the fun? What's one of the functions of of a structure? Maybe the shell. Hmm? What is it? Yeah. And what's the function of the antenna? Sense here, maybe we're not quite sure yet, huh? But it might sense. Yeah. What are the functions of the structures or of each structure? I don't know if I really like the word each there, but Leo? Uh, the pincers are for grabbing prey and ripping it. Yeah, grabbing food, tearing it, ripping it, and then defending itself against pr predators, right? Trying to go with people who haven't shared yet. Alina? Um, I think they only are not for um, hearing, but um, when I was looking at my real crate, um, I saw the antennas moving, and I think they're for waving. And so, what would the what would the function of it waving be, Alina? Uh -huh. I'll wait. Thank you, those of you that have your attention on the speaker. Alina, what would the function of waving be? What, what would the purpose be? Uh, like to say hi to other, um, other crayfish. So we, so we would call that communicate? Yeah. Like and, how other bugs do they like move with their antennas? And Jesse, can you add on? I know that you and Sam were talking about the antenna. Um, it could probably sense other objects or danger. So we have food, we have defending or protecting itself, we have sensing danger or other crayfish or communicating. Yeah. What else? Christian? Okay. I think maybe the crayfish has a sixth sense. We call that a hypothesis, and why? What are you thinking? I think because... What was some of your evidence? Um, I was going behind the, like, the crayfish that I took, and, I, and um, I touched the water, and then it like, made like, little waves. And then it turned around, and then the follow-up was like echo sound So you're saying, so it, is this what, let me see if I can imagine. The crayfish was facing this direction. You put your finger in the water behind. It turned towards your hand. 
Mm -hmm. Natalie, can you add? When he touched the water, um, it made Wave vibration. Oh, I know, like fish. Like fish, if you touch the water, like, it's so scary. They get scared. Hmm. They get scared. So, I know you said this was kind of a question. Can we put it right here? Like, what could, how do you want to say this? What did you learn? The crayfish, we say, would it be accurate to say the crayfish can sense? Or what do you want to say? How do you want to say it? I think that the crayfish maybe have Do we know that for sure? And that's why you had said it was a question. Should we put it in question instead? So could it be using? Could well the reason I'm just wondering is a s that the five. I'm just wonder, and I don't know. I'm just wondering if they're if it is a sixth sense or are they using one of the other five senses? I think it is a sixth sense. Okay, so you think that, but we'll put that as a question. I think we might need to maybe do a little more research on that. I I'm not sure. Do and now, yeah, so maybe that could be a function of that, right? So if we think of the functions of some of these structures, if we think, hurry about defending itself against its predators, if we think about food, Jesse, right? If we think about sensing or communicating, these are all things that the crayfish uses to survive, right? So maybe that could be the, the, the purpose of all or the functions of all the structures is to help the, to help the crayfish survive. So I would say structures have functions to help the, ooh, I'm going to use our new vocabulary term, the organism survive. So structures have functions to help the organism survive. And for example, we had learned that with uh, how to use the for example in our, in our cooperative strip paragraph, right? For example, oh boy. I was combining my next word already. Have you done that before? For example, the crayfish um, uses, did we want to say antenna, pincers? What's an example, pincers? Uses its, and I remember I didn't put the apostrophe, its pincers to grab and tear food. That's one way to survive. We need food to, or organisms need food to survive, right? Uses its pincers to grab and tear food. And, do you want to say defend or protect? Defend. Defend itself against predators. We just have to put an example. We kind of follow the same pattern. Uh, okay. All right. Final thoughts. Final thoughts about something you personally learned today. Someone else might have known it. 
But what did you personally learn today? Go ahead and talk with the partner. What are some of the things that you learned today? What's something you learned, Marissa? Even though, uh, I'm coming to you, so think. Even though a crayfish doesn't only have one paw, it can still move fast. So I'm going to kind of skip this in case we can use it. A crayfish has only one claw, comma, it can still move fast. Important, right? If we think back to surviving, imagine if how easy it was for a crayfish to lose one of its pincers. If it, what, if it didn't have the ability to still move fast, right? You wouldn't survive. Makes all sense. Absolutely. Malia, you thought of one? Um, Sam, I I'm going to come to you next. I learned that when, um, when somebody was trying to make a cake, um, they said that they would Mm-hmm. The red one? Mm. So your team, and one part we didn't get to today that we'll, we'll have to do in our next investigation is really start to look at the differences between them. So your team was already observing the differences between the two crayfish that were in your basin, huh? that even though it might have been smaller, that it seemed to have moved faster than the, than the bigger red one with the claw missing, the pincer missing. Okay. Sam, what did you learn? So similar to what Malia had said? Yeah. Crayfish. Okay. I know I didn't finish Malia's thought here either. The gray fa crayfish was fast. There are, and Marissa, I kind of, pa we call it paraphrased what you said, or Malia, excuse me. I kind of paraphrased what you had said. You had added on here, but then I noticed that you were noticing the differences. So I'm gonna kind of um, say there are differences between crayfish. Okay, so in our next investigation, in our next investigation, we will be observing again a little more closely the different structures, and we'll start to compare and look at the, different, the differences between the crayfish and think about why. They might have differences, okay? All right, will you please, as a team, line up for lunch.